Hello dear technology and architecture students. The result is finally out. The morning you have seen the incomplete result. That video I have already posted as soon as uh, it's public. As well as the modified version I already mentioned when it is going to come out. And uh, posted a video and many of you seen it. And the most funny thing is today I have answered uh, almost uh, 100 queries. Uh, many of them asked me uh, lots of questions, uh, lots of doubts they are having in their minds. I don't mind because all of you are students, uh, but it's my responsibility to clarify the doubts. I know that. So I, I, I did that uh, with perfection. And uh, I tried my level best. I I, I uh, still now uh, really uh, feeling very honored because you asked me lots of questions. But thank you. Thank you very much for doing that. I love to answer this kind of questions. Uh, though there are a few awkward ones, but still uh, manageable. Yes. Okay. So today's discussion is... Uh, since the result is out and uh, still you are not satisfied with the grade. So what to do? I mean, many of you have got like uh, F uh, in a particular subject, which denotes uh, either fail. I know uh, a few, but uh, then I incomplete, then it's rectified. And as well as the most important uh, clause is over here is... Uh, like getting B or C like uh, grades and you are expecting an E or an O but you are not uh, you haven't got it yet so what to do now let's move forward so this is the two questions you are having in your mind what to do now and how to clear confusion now it's my duty so the first thing which comes in your mind like you would like to go for PPS or PPR. So the full form of PPS is post publication scrutiny and uh, the second one is post publication review. Now let me tell you the difference between these two PPS and PPR. Now PPS since it's scrutiny uh, here the responsibility of the evaluator if you go for the second time then they will just add up the total marks count it and if they did not uh, didn't find any discrepancy they'll not evaluate the paper but ppr post publication review is something which means uh, total evaluation of the paper freshly and then uh, whatever marks uh, the new teacher or the new evaluator offers that is calculated and then the discrepancies uh, from the previous mark and then uh, rightly uh, 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 rightly uh, what I can say is uh, the marks you have got uh, after the PPR uh, is compared and uh, then the if there is a huge difference uh, uh, then uh, means uh, if it, there is a difference between more than five to six marks then the final marks or the post publication review marks will be taken. Now let's move to the next one. Many of you are having query regarding this. This notice I have already uh, given in the morning session, uh, the morning video. What? Let's zoom it. See right now what you can do is in case of, it is clearly written over here, in case of incompleteness or discrepancy in the said result, the student Students are advised to contact their concerned colleges. The same may be informed by the colleges in writing to the office of the controller of the examination at city office, which is located in Salt Lake, BF 142, Sector 1, Salt Lake City, Kolkata, uh, 64, after 15th of April. So you can apply in both ways, like uh, to your the concerned college authority as well as to the controller of examinations of Macau directly. I think it's better okay, you go through via a proper channel, uh, then it will be better one. And uh, uh, you have to make a CC, means copy to this uh, 
controller of examinations because since you belong to a particular college then it is better or if you are a in-house student i mean uh, studying uh, directly in the university then you have to write to the controller of examinations right so and that is also after 15th of april 2020 so you need not to worry till now stay calm cool and uh, don't get excited by uh, any kind of uh, uh, rumors uh, which uh, sometimes spreads in the market so don't go for that take care of your health and whatever in the meanwhile you decide what are the papers you would like to go for uh, either a scrutiny or for a review and how to do it uh, till uh, last year i as far as my knowledge concern uh, there is like you know 200 uh, rupees were there for per paper for this pps as well as ppr uh, each paper so if you want to go for a review for each paper this time what uh, amount of money they will charge it depends uh, so let me clarify you can't blame me later because it depends on year to year so maybe this time uh, they are going to uh, charge a little bit higher also or maybe they, they will uh, keep the amount remain same so it depends so after 15th april you have to initiate the process and this is the notification for your understanding this is the reference number also and this is the date now let's move to the next part thank you thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your continuous support thank you very much for your queries thank you very much for your trash uh, thank you very much for getting on my nerves uh, thank you very much uh, because i know whatever you are doing i am getting your support and that's why i am asking you please do subscribe shomen nath youtube channel for right information at right time with this i would like to thank you all have a nice time bye bye